Start by opening the camera app on your iPhone. You'll see that there are different shooting modes for your phone. You have time lapse, slow mo, video, photo, portrait, square, and panoramic. In this video, we will be discussing the photo shooting settings. If you tap the screen on this mode, it will focus onto a subject and help recalibrate the lighting. The three circles in the top right corner are different filters that you can apply to your camera shot. Each filter is different and creates a different mood for the photo. We'll stick with the original filter for now. The clock icon at the top allows you to adjust a timer for your camera. You can choose between 3 seconds or 10 seconds. The lightning bolt icon gives you different options for your camera flash. Auto, on, or off. Let's start by taking a photo. Notice how I use the focus tap. Now when you open the photo on your phone, there should be an edit button. Opening the editing feature gives you a bunch of different options to edit your photo. The dial icon at the bottom gives you different attributes to control. Auto automatically edits the photo. Exposure controls the exposure of the photo. Brilliance brightens shadows tones down highlights, and changes contrast all at once. Highlights controls the highlights on your photo, while shadows controls the various shadows on your photo. Contrast changes the contrast of the photo. Brightness changes the brightness of the photo. Black point adjusts the dark areas of the image. Saturation adjusts the intensity of all colors on the photo. Vibrance increases the saturation of undersaturated regions. Warmth adjusts the warmth of the photo. Tint adjusts the tint of the photo. Sharpness changes the clarity of the photo. Definition also changes the clarity of the photo. Noise reduction decreases the blur and the noise marks in the background. Vignette lightens and darkens the edges of the photo. Using the three circles here, you can apply filters to the already taken photo, and then you can go back to the dial icon and change the attributes more. You can also click the image to go back and forth between the original photo and the edited photo to see your changes.
The square icon with rulers opens up different options for cropping, rotating, and adjusting perspectives. Additionally, since this is a live image, you can click the circular icon and choose the key photo from your live image. This is the main image that is shown in your gallery. Click done when you're finished editing your photo and you're all done. It's saved.